Hello everyone, it's Attack Super Nancy here, and for today, so we have gotten ourselves a topic we are about to discuss for today's video. And the topic we are about to talk about for today is something that has been, you know, discussed for at least a few weeks recently, thanks to the reputation of the Super Mario Bros. trailer and its advertisements recently. But this has been a topic that has been talked about for at least quite a while now, give and take two, maybe three to four years and such. And this has been something fans have been dreaming and waiting of. And my friends, I'm talking about a potential and possible Super Smash Bros. movie itself. Based off one of the biggest crossover fighting games now being adapted into a movie would be a quite an incredible achievement that no person would ever see. Yeah, I mean, we see the yeah we saw the Lego movie, we've seen Ready Player One, but a Smash Bros. movie itself, yeah, I can totally see something like that happening in the future. But the question is, however, is that... Is a Smash Brothers movie really a good idea in general, or is it truly like a bad idea that has to be wait, waited for at least a long time? Because many have wanted to see a Smash Brothers movie for at least a long time. Maybe, like I said, about two, three to four years. Heck, I've seen someone on Twitter a few years back making an entire timeline based on the Smash Bros. cinematic universe, which they are hoping for. And, you know, the reason they are stating this is because of the recent successes with the past Mar uh, video game movie adaptions going from Detective Pikachu in 2019, and the trilogy of the Sonic movie, of the Sonic the Hedgehog movies, with the first one for 2020, the second one this year, and the third one in about two years, and then last but not least, like I said, the recent reputation with the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie coming next April of 2023. And you know what, I can totally understand that. Adaptions like these, however, can honestly be interesting. But that's why I'm going to be listing at least a few pros and cons about it. So let's just kind of get started talking about the first thing, and that is adapting it. You see, video game adaptions itself are not easy to do. You have to rely on the source material in order to make it a good movie. For example, the Sonic movies uh, from the first one, it kind of had a mix of Sonic 1, but then in Sonic 2, it had a mix of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and then 3, while having a mix of also some references from future Sonic games, such as like Sonic 06 and then mentioned in Sonic Adventure and all. And speaking of, the third Sonic movie will all be based off from specifically Sonic Adventure 2, thanks to the appearance of Shadow the Hedgehog. And well, the Mario movie has a buttload of many different movies and like um, like spin-offs and games going from the original Mario Brothers game to Super for to uh the Mario spin-offs like Mario Kart and all. You can really tell that the source material is really you know, needed in order to make a movie. Heck, this actually happened with such, such as the 1990s Mega Man show, and also I think the Mega Man .exe uh, Battle Network anime, and then there's also the Final Fantasy VII movie, Advent Children, which takes place a couple of years after the events of Final Fantasy VII, which does give out some more Final Fantasy lore specifically to VII itself, but then, and then last but not least, the Kirby Right Back at Ya anime, which we can all agree is one of the best things we've seen from Kirby. I'm surprised we haven't seen other Kirby sources like this aside from the games itself. However, with such good adaption, there's also some pretty bad ones as well that really weren't re well received or just memed at that at this point. Such as the biggest example itself, the Super Mario Brothers movie from 1993, the original Mario Brothers movie. And this is one of those few examples where they never followed the source material. Yeah, sure, it's kind of based off from Mario Brothers World, much from Super Mario World at all. But even if so, it did it didn't really go so well. And I can see why we haven't seen out anything Mario media related outside of the Japanese movie of that. And then there's this one. I can totally see why they haven't gone for it. And not only that, there's also the Donkey Kong Country show. You know, the one where DK Donkey Donkey Kong talked. And so is the Legend of Zelda show from the 90s as well, which is really one of the reasons why we don't want to see Link talk at all. And then there's also Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, which we can all see what happened from this year. I mean, it used to be a show that many, many made fun of. Now it's suddenly made fun of again this year, which also kind of brought back Pac-Man world suddenly. I have no idea how that even happened, but hey, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, yeah, not really a good adaption in my opinion. And then there's the Mega Man uh, show from Cartoon Network back in 2018, and it also wasn't a good adaption. Then there was also Pixels, which I wasn't too sure, because this is really an adaption this is more of arcades coming to life games such as you know like 
Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and obviously Donkey Kong. And then finally, the really mixed thing I have to talk about is the Street Fighter media. Because there are so much Street Fighter movies and animated stuff that are either mixed. Sometimes it's either animated, sometimes it's live action. And this also goes the same thing for Fatal Fury slash King of Fighters, where there was a fa animated show about it. Oh, I think it was a show, or it's probably just an OVA. But... Overall, my point is, is that movie adaptions can be great as long as they are well. A Smash Bros. movie like that is really hard to adapt because it just depends on how you're supposed to do it. First of all, the pros itself. Obviously, the movie, it's, if there's ever going to be a Smash Bros. movie, if it adapts well, then yeah, I can, yeah, this is one of the best things we could possibly see in the future. The second thing is that Jeff Fowler, who is the director of the three Sonic movies, has stated once before the Sonic, the Sonic movie 2 came out that he wanted to make a, a Smash Bros. movie one day, and many are taking his word for it, and you know what? I can totally see that as well. Like I said, many are really have been dreaming of this, and I can understand and Jeff Fowler wanted to do this. Another pro is that imagine they decided to bring all of the voice actors who were adapted into the movie, such as Ben Schwartz playing Sonic, Ryan Re Reynolds make, playing as Pikachu, and I guess Chris Pratt coming back as Mario, even though I've seen many not wanting, you know, not liking Chris Pratt at all. Come on, guys, let's just give Chris Pratt a break from his acting job and all. But here's some issues, though, about what I feel when it comes to adapting it. The first thing that I have to talk about when it comes to adapting a Smash Bros. movie is that it's really hard to make a movie like this like just making a movie in general is really hard you're gonna have to do a lot of script writing storyboarding a lot of acting and finding the right actors to play these sort of characters i mean i we, i don't think we have seen a metroid movie yet nor like a metroid short from nintendo we haven't really seen anything aside from the big ones and, it's, and we did get to see an animated short from Star Fox back in the star back in the star fox zero days but even if so, finding the right voice actors is really difficult to order to do that. Plus, Captain Falcon and F-Zero did get its own anime adaption back then. I think it was like 2003, I think. The thing, my point is, is that making a storyboard is really hard. And especially making a plot, because... If we're not going to talk about or, you know, if they're not going to make the plot very similar to Subspace Emissary or World of Light, what kind of plot would they ever, would it be? It would kind of be thin, in my opinion. It would just kind of be like an okay, basic plot. And I get that. And don't get me wrong. Making a simple plot is one of the best things. It's kind of, you know, okay at times. Sometimes you want things complex. Something, sometimes you want things simple. But this is Smash Brothers we're talking about. Many fans are expecting something mind-blowing, something lore-wise, when when it comes to making a plot like that so making it really simple would definitely not be a good idea and that's why i said making a movie with a plot when it comes to smash butters is really difficult Another thing to mention is that many stated that with the recent successes of these three, and especially with the upcoming Mario Brothers movie, many would like to say that this could possibly lead to, to a Super Smash Brothers cinematic universe. Something like, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then the DC Extended, and then the DC Extended Universe and all. Here's the thing, though. I don't think a cinematic universe of Smash Brothers would be an absolute good idea. First of all, I'm not sure how would that work, because this one here is technically live action. This, right, this, the Sonic movie trilogy is also live action. And then there's also the Mario Brothers movie, which is also full, which is basically fully animated. And if they're gonna make a movie, a Smash Brothers movie, that is just a mix of either animation and then live action together i'm not sure how that would bode well especially when it make when making a live action smash Bros. movie just imagine seeing a live action version of mario fighting an animated sonic that that would be kind of odd in my opinion which is kind of why i feel like it being animated would be the best thing however that is only if and that's another problem about making a smash Bros. movie it's pretty much only to people and developers who really are wanting to commit into this sort of project aside from jeff fowler i can't think of anybody else who would think who are you know who is pretty much i wanted to feel committed into making an entire Smash Brothers movie itself. And that's another thing is that I feel like making a Smash Brothers cinematic universe is feel like it's just another attempt at trying to 
you know, rival with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The, rival, the Marvel Cinematic Universe went off the charts. What started off with the, first, with the first Iron Man movie, and then times goes on, where we get to see the other movies, such as Thor and Captain America, and then eventually Guardians of the Galaxy, all taking place in the same universe and all. However, there are other attempts that I feel like many have, have you know, there are attempts on making sort of like a Marvel Cinematic Universe, but ended up failing. The DC Extended Universe is the biggest example of it. Recently, I did hear that they are rewriting the whole the Extended Universe for like the fifth time after that. So, you can really tell that making this sort of attempt, especially when, it, you know, mixing in a bunch of video game characters is not really a good attempt. Which is kind of why I feel like it's best to just have an old, their own standalone films, and that's about it. Like, you can leave Mario and Sonic out of this and all, and especially with Pikachu, and, you know, let Donkey Kong have his own movie. It just, we don't really need you know, a whole cinematic universe of all, of all some sorts. I prefer seeing, like, you know, a, you know, an animated Kid Icarus show, maybe, like, uh, shorts based off from the Metroid games. Who knows? So, the question is, is that, is it really a good or bad idea? Well, for, well, well, my answer to this is that it's a good idea if the fans or, you know, people are really committed to this sort of project, but it's a bad idea because, one, a cinematic universe is not really a good attempt, and especially when it, when, and another thing is that adapting it when it comes to making a big plot is not really that easy. But I want to know all your thoughts and opinions down below about this. Do you exactly think a Smash Bros. movie is a good idea, or is it a bad idea in your opinion? I want to know all your thoughts and opinions down below about this, and so with that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification about more videos, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember this, once a legend, always a legend. Like a hell cut.